Hello everyone, we hope you're well. I hope that weren't too loud, because when you said a bit loud the other day, I've got to be honest mate, I'm bunged up. It keeps, we keep having showers of rain and oh dear. Yeah, it gets the old hay fever, that does. Anyway, never mind all that. You can see what's in front of us and you must have seen the title. So today, now what we're going to do is that um, Shah Su Pork. I remember we did it before, I think it was Wendy's birthday, and we did ribs as well, and it was really nice. And what we did, there's all the um, items to marinate it, and oh, it really was so nice. <sighs> there looks a lot of stuff there, but once you've got it, you've got it, you know, so oh, it's not all bad. And we really enjoyed it. Now, I cooked it <coughs> in the air fryer. It was beautiful. It did it lovely. But the, the marinating, we make the bag, don't we, and seal it in the bag with the sealing machine because we're fortunate enough to have one of those. Um, but you can do a, a resealable bag or whatever. Um, what we'll do... As you see, Wendy's weighed everything out there to make it nice and simple. So we're about ready for making a start now. But what <clears throat> what I have decided, we'll cook the pork with that sous vide again. We'll try that again. Um, so we need to get on with it because it has to be in for a few hours. So I'll get on with that now. And also the rice. Oh dear. I hope I'm not getting ridiculous here, but we'll... We often have packet rice. We're going to cook some rice in the rice cooker because, oh, that rice cooker's nice as well. We've used it a bit, and once you get the hang of it, it is. It's all right. So, oh, dear, it's a proper Kasori kitchen, this is, isn't it? Well, at least the seal is not. That's Andrew James. <laughs> right, anyway, enough of this rubbish. What I'll do, oh, I'll better show you the pork. Well, I'm sure you can see it, look, can't you? But, uh as you'll see there, um, that is about half a kilogram look, and it costs us £3.72. So really, I mean, I don't know whether that will, it's not as big as we had before, so whether we'll eat all that in one go, I tend to think we might do, but it'd be nice to think that will do us twice, but that, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, right. I'll make us a bit of room and make a start. Right, I think we're ready to go now. So Wendy's going to mix these together, all these ingredients, which I will list. So Wendy's going to mix them. Go on, carry on, Wendy. Okay. And we're going to put the red colouring in last because, uh, mate, that stuff, it don't come off, does it? That's the sugar, five spices. I suppose I should be doing this really because I'm not even holding the camera. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually doing anything. <laughs> Right, here we go. First of all, we need some of this. And it needs to be enough to put in the bag and a little bit extra. So I think I'll make it rather long. I'll go with that. 
to make it a little long and just pull that across and it chops it nice and square as you see the bag is rather massive but I'm hoping that's going to pay so what we'll do first of all is seal the end Hopefully we'll seal the end if I can get it open. Oh, that's Graham again, isn't it? Now, let's get the bag nice and square and get it. And we just need to seal this. Just sit it on there nice and... Make sure we're right. Right seal only and at this point I'd like to apologize to Janice from Delaware because there is two seal time there's normal and extended but the vacuum I think there's only one setting I've not figured it out yet but I think that's correct I'll tell you what it might work better if it's switched on it is switched on I didn't see that seal Oh, it did. Right now, I'm going to put a double seal on there. Make sure, like we did before. I don't think there's any real need, need but uh, we'll do it. Right, I'm keeping me on that red light now. That's gone off. Now that's sealed. Now got a good seal along there I don't know whether you can see that can we there you go look that's good right now it's a case of getting the meat in here so I'll put the meat in there and I'll bring you back because on camera I'm in my own way right now I know I've met I mean we've moved back because I'm a bit in my own way there um what we're gonna do to dry that edge look dry that edge just to make sure so we get a good seal yeah but you've got to do this yet and then we're <laughs> going to peel it back and tip that in have you got right, shaky let, hands let me come back to you <laughs> right now i'm i've gone a bit crazy with this bag look because oh. i've got them cheap look i've got them all excited it didn't need to be that long oh. but i think we'll go with it now what i will do oh. i'm going to roll this back in a tent keep the edge nice and clean and then if Wendy can tip it in there yeah. we're laughing here we go mm -hmm. have you got a shaky hand? no I ain't, I don't know whether you are lift it up a little bit up. Look, it's, yeah, that's it right I mean the reason we're just being careful is we don't want to waste any number one, but that red dye, if it sticks to you. It does come out. It comes out, but it... It's just, you don't want it on you, do you? Am I all right? Yeah. I'm not well, looking at that now. Yeah, it's just a tiny bob there, but it's not even in the way. All right. Oh. That'll do then before we get it all over the place. Oh, you don't trust me, do you? Um, right. Let's get that back. I really have gone mad with cutting this bag. Some I've noticed some things you can use these lots of times, but um, I know when we did the onion and let's get that in there. Shape, that was, it? Yeah, we did the onion and the um, mushrooms. It um, I could only use the bag once. Right now I'm going to sit that like that and do it like this and hopefully it'll suck it out and not go too far. So that now goes over there just so it's in the vacuum area. Right, close it down so it holds it nice and tight. Try and push them air out, see if that helps. Right. This is where I might panic. Vacuum and seal. Here we go. Not going too far 
I think that's worked a treat to be honest. I think that's going to be fine. That's why you did it because you do panic. Yeah, I do panic. <laughs> now, that I know it's not solid, but it, it won't be. The meat's soft, but that's going to suck that in there lovely. And uh, I will put another seal on just oh, to make sure. Are you sure? I, uh, I'm not uh, for a, a little mm -hmm. bit of electric, I'm not going to, yeah, you hold that off, it's easier. Right, Right, put there. that down. That's it, seal only. This should be fine then. Right, hopefully, <laughs> not hopefully, we know. That's going to be fine now, that's got it. As I say, we've got, you can see we've got a double seal there, top and bottom. There we go, and there's plenty of room for it to move, but we've noticed before it does, as you can see, you can actually do it by hand. I've seen people doing it in resealable bags, but it's just, we will now put this in for sous vide. So we'll fold that that way like that, and then we'll push that under the water. But that's that bit done now, so what I'll do, I'll sort the uh, sous vide side of things out, and I'll bring you back. Right, as you can see there, we've got the temperature gauge on. And at the minute, the internal temperature of that water is 50 degrees C. Now, I've had a look with our friend Google. Let's see if that's going up. It should be. Oh, it might be too hot. Now, I say we've got to cook this piece of pork. It says 71 degrees for well done. There's a bit of a pattern here, look, isn't there? You see that kettle? It's a cassori. <laughs> I mean, as most people would know, I did get this cassori kettle, and um, well, it's been quite good so far. I've got no complaint with that. Now, how have I got away with that, look? That's gone straight to 71 degrees. I can't believe my look. And uh, now, why is that not cut? Oh, no, you fool. You've done it again. I didn't press start. I knew there was something wrong. Right, oh come on, let's wait. Let's do it properly, Graham, because it'll go through the cycle and it'll say hot when it's ready. And then, I'll tell you what, we'll take this out because you know that's the right temperature. Get the lid on. Now, we want this on vent, remember. I just heard a little bit of steam then. That surprised me. So we have that on vent while we're on sous vide. Um, and that is warming up. It's getting to the right temperature. Now, exactly what we'll do, I don't know how long this will take, so I'll bring you back. Well, look at that. As soon as I turn me back, it's gone into cooking mode, look, at, what, at 71 degrees. So, that is the correct time to put the meat in. But I could have put it in before, we know that. There we go. Let's get the meat in. And that, um, as we did before, we want it immersed fully in the water. Now there's three litres of water in there, so no problem. I'll just um, get rid of all the air that I can. That's it. That's on the bottom. Um, let me just show you. Look, as you see, I put quite a bit of water in there. We're not, um, we're not being tight here, are we? Not today. Right, let's get you back so you can see the lid going on. You just look, this is so easy. Just line the two dots across there. It goes on to seal, but we don't want it sealing. You want it open. Right, now, <laughs> that's about it for the next three hours. Um, yeah, that'll just go through the cooking time now. As I say, it's, it's actually set for three hours and then it goes on key warm. So now, that's our job done. That's finished. Now, I will be cooking rice. So what I shall do, I'll get that rice washed. And, um, well, it's got plenty of time to soak because that's only going to take about half an hour. So there's no rush. So uh, I'll bring you back. 
Right, I brought you back because we were just looking at a Kasori thinking it's almost had three hours. Um, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll get the phone ready, uh, the camera will take some pictures. But while I were doing that, it started beeping. So that now has actually been on three hours. And if you see, oh, it's been varying between 69 and 70 degrees on the thermometer and it was set at 71. So it may be a degree out there, but it could be the thermometer is not in the right spot. I don't know. But that now, I've actually just turned it off and had to turn it back on and put it on to keep warm because I disconnected the power. Now, the reason I disconnected the power is simply because I set the gauge look. Now, you can see that. Now, it's been on for three hours. And according to the electric meter, it's only been on eight and a half minutes. Oh, eight minutes, 32 look. And again, it's at low temperature and it keeps the water warm and it only switches on and off. Look, it's on 71 degrees now. <laughs> so it has been, re oh, 72. Or oh, it may be because we've gone to keep warm. Uh, it's been doing, like I say, 69, 70 and 71. Uh, that temperature's actually creeping up. Anyway, as I say, on the meter look, it's been on for eight and a half minutes, and it's but it's actually been connected to the mains for three hours. But it's only used eight and a half minutes of electric. It's about, well, we'll have a look. But it cost five and a half P look. Five and a half pence it's took for three hours cooking. And it's used 0.16 of a kilowatt. And the, where's the wattage? The eye wattage, look, 1,226. So it fluctuates between, where's the low wattage? 990 watts and 1,226. And the rest of the time, it's just off. So, again, sounds ridiculous. I set it at 33 pence an hour, as you see. But as I say, if you look at the cost, 5.44 pence it's cost. That's all it's cost. So, you know, I hope that's in the camera. I keep pulling it away when I'm trying to see myself. We're going to have to start cooking the rice now. So uh, the only other thing I would like to mention, during this time this has been switched on, we got a bit of a surprise from Pauline and she says, Graham, it's me again. Um, enjoy your new gadget, love Pauline. And the, the Talatin, well the Talatin, look, is what we keep the, it's those small tins that we've got the, uh, the sugar in. And there is one for this storage tin for self-raising and there's one for uh, just plain flour, but also it's the caster sugar What's the other one? Caster sugar and icing sugar. Oh, icing sugar. I can't think for a minute, mate. You're losing the plot. But they're fantastic. That's fantastic, Pauline. We can't thank you enough. But that's not it. Um, Pauline sent us this as well. And we're going to use this. We need to chop some onion because we're going to make the rice. Now this... There's all sorts of recipes in there as well. It's not just an instruction. There's a few things you can do, but it's mainly a chopper look. Now, I have seen these, but I've not had a very good look, so we're dying to give this a go. But it looks quite well made. In fact, it looks very well made. So, anyway, we'll give that a go now. So, thanks again, Pauline. That's fantastic. Right, I'll bring you back. Right. Now we're going to uh, wash the basmati rice. So uh, it's a new bag actually, I'm holding the top so I don't get it everywhere. Um, and we're finding, me and Wendy, that one cup, one of these cups is enough. So I'll, uh, there we go. And what I'll do, tip that in there. And I'll get that washed and bring you back. Obviously, I wash it under the tap until it's clean. All the rice, I do that. 
Right, we've got to get started because we're getting hungry. Now here, here's the box. This is a present from Pauline, look, pull and chop. Now, I've seen them but didn't realise really what they were like. I didn't think they'd be that good bit of a gimmick, but they look like it's pretty good. And Pauline says she's got one and they are, they're great. So, that's fantastic, that is, Pauline. But let's give it a go now. Now, I've washed it out and there's a, a cover on the blade, that cover. There's two little blades that whiz round, so you can put them back in. But what, apparently, we've not used it before. It's still a, I've dried it out, look, but it's still a bit damp in there. Um, apparently, once it's clean, we put the onion in there, and we're putting the garlic in it at the same time. Oh, now, really? are we right? Are no, we right? I don't think you should. Why? The garlic's got to go little than the. You think you should yeah, take it take out? Yeah, take the garlic out because the onion needs Mate, more core size. No, we should have talked about this before I put it in. I thought you knew, sorry. Well, I said to you, we could chuck it all in yeah, together but... and I didn't hear any reply, so I thought I oh. took that as a oh, guess right, we'll okay. go. Here we go, look. Oh, it's mine. Oh, yeah. Go on. Look, well, it's chopped up nice now, but you want it yeah, small. Well, a bit smaller. Small, like. Yeah, I'm sorry, hang on, wait, because oh. let me get the camera down, what if you're oh. doing it? Oh, come on, let's have Daddy, a look. Go on then. Daddy. Don't be mad, don't be mad, you're not starting an engine. I think that's bad isn't it? I would say that, would If you? you're happy with that, yeah. that'll do. Oh, that's really quick, isn't it? She's took my toy off me again. It's quick Actually, on the drawer, isn't it? That's oh. good. That's good, I'd say. I'm oh. just happy with my tin. Just watch the, the tins, brilliant. I can't wait till it's put, dry. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? Right, <coughs> right, let's get you back in the holder and we'll have a go at the uh, garlic. Right. Right, there's going to be a fallout here, look. <laughs> when I took the blade out and when they scraped that out yeah. with the spatula, get your spatula under here, look. I'm sure people know where a spatula is because we don't want to mm -hmm. scratch it, do we? So now... I'm doing this. I don't oh. care. What, I don't care what you say. Oh, I'm having a go now. Fair this I feel good. I mean, we've actually got a little device for doing this, but we've got to try this, haven't we? Actually, I think that's small enough. No, a bit more. Hey, bit more, because that then I can do two. Oh. Look, I'm taking my toys off here. Again. It's no good. The dummy's coming out of pram. You're not starting the outboard engine, you know. Right, right we'll get this. We'll get this out right. now. And get it put in a bowl, and we will get I'll started. Put it at the side of the onion. Right. Take the devices out of it now. You saw I've washed one cup of rice. That's all it takes, and it's it's enough for me and Wendy. Um, now you get this with the kasori rice cooker, and. I've heard, I've been advised by Kasori that some people are putting that into there. Now, if you put it in there, it will go in and it will press the button at the bottom. And they're attempting, or well, there's been a complaint apparently, that um, if you do that, the water will just run through that. You can't do that. You must never put any liquid into here because that's the eating element. You must always have that pot in. I can't believe people do well, that. We don't know whether they actually have or it's just a chance they will, I don't know. But I use that to wash the rice, but I'm not doing that now. You've seen me wash the rice. And um, it looks damp in there, but I've just washed it out, to be honest, because I've used yeah. it. It's a damp, um, it's a damp off that, it's actually, it. that mm -hmm. So you must always cook with that inner pot in. Always, whatever you do. This is designed, really for like vegetables or, or odd meats and like fish and things like that. It's just a steamer, but you must always put the liquid into the main pot. Right, now we're at this stage. We've got to switch this on. Um, now, mode. Uh, on to saute, which I should actually be showing you, but never mind. Press start. That'll, that's getting warm now, and it's telling you it's getting warm. You can't actually see, can you? Look. 
I see the mode it's on saute and it's going round and it'll let me know when it's reached temperature it's on preheat at the moment so I'll just stick you back in here so you can see and I put that in right there we go right now I'll tip the oil in here as it warms up I'll put the ingredients for this again in the description I'll have to do that I mean we've already done it but um, we want that to get nice and warm I'll bring you back right <laughs> I'm sorry I've got the camera in the wrong place it's just gone on to cook for saute it's reached temperature so we'll get the uh, onion and the garlic in there I mean this is only going to take a couple of minutes just till it becomes translucent. I'll tell you what, I like saying I like that. that. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Translucent. Right. Well, look at this spatula. Oh, it's because that was in the bowl. Yeah. Well, I can't go wrong, can I? I can use this one, can't I? Yeah, Wendy says I should be using this, which I should, but mate, they don't come any softer than me. I'm not going to burn it. Oh, I don't know. No, that's fine. Right, so just give that a couple of minutes. Right, now they're uh, getting a little more translucent. So we'll make a bit of a space there. And um, what we want to do now is scramble the egg. And we'll get the egg tipped in. Right, I've brought you back because as you can see, look, the egg is starting to scramble. And this is what we want. Yes, it's really going now. It's about right now. Let's mix it all up together. Oh, that's lovely now. Now that part's worked really well. So now, press cancel. Make sure it's all uh, mixed in with the onion and garlic, which it is. That looks, oh, it looks good. It smells good already. We've not done anything yet, have we? Um, all we do now is put the rest of the ingredients in. So, 275 millilitres of chicken stock. That goes in there. I think it was 270, uh, sorry, 375 millilitres of stock. And this is 60 millimetres of light soya sauce. It's all to add to the taste, really. Um, we've got the peas here, but as I've said before, I put the peas in at the end, because there's no need for them to be in for that length of time. Then, there's the basmati rice, we'll put that in. Come on Graham, use the proper paddle. Let's get it mixed up. Mmm, garlic. I can smell it, it smells lovely. <laughs> it's not just, it's the garlic and onion and the, mm -hmm. even when you put the egg in, I can smell that. And I, and I can't smell very much at all. Um, Right, there we go, that's ready now. So all we need now is to cook that and we think it will take about 25 minutes. I mean, when I switch it on, it'll say an awful lot more, but uh, I'll tell you what, let me uh, put the lid down and change the angle of the camera so you can see. Right, go on then. Mm. Right, now, We'll get the kasori moving. Look, we're going to white rice. Um, it's basmati, isn't it? That's long grain, isn't it? Mm. Is it? No, let's go on quick. <laughs> oh no, I, I have to think how we're doing it. <laughs> how do I change that? Do I, do I press that again? Yes. Oh yeah. Ah, quick. That's the one I want. 
Now it says 39 minutes on there. Press start. It won't take 39 minutes and it'll cook it really cheap and it'll all be fine. We know that. We've done it before. Mm. So all we do now is leave that to work its magic. Mm. There'll be a little bit of steam coming out of the vent as you expect. But uh, when it when it's cooked, then we'll tip the peas in and mix it all up. We'll have a better look. So I'll bring you back then. We've taken the meat out. Now it's had three hours cooking and it's been on keep warm. So we'll cut the bag open and uh, we'll have a look at the meat because we don't quite know what to expect still. I mean, we think we expect it to not look very appetizing, but to bear in mind, it's been in the red and all that juice in there. Wow, that is hot. I don't know, it's different because it's red. It looks pretty good to me. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Let's stand that bag up in the sink. I don't want that going everywhere. I think what we'll have to do is um, cut this and have a look. I'm not saying nothing. Sorry? I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> no, let's, let's just cut this in half and see what it looks like. Uh, I'm turning it then. There it is, look. Oh, yeah. That's cooked. Yeah, that's cooked. That looks beautiful to me as it is. Mm. I think that's fine the way it is. Yeah. Let's, um, let's cut a slice I mean, to off. me, I think if you just brown it a little bit, it'll be a need bit... To. I would say so. Do you really need to? That's what I'm telling mm. you. There it is. Let's um, mm. have a taste. It tastes all right to me, mm. but you think it wants cooking. Mm. Why? I don't know. It's red on the outside. I don't mm. see if it makes okay, any yeah. difference, but mm. I don't know. It's all guesswork because we're not sure, are we? But you can see the meat's cooked. That's beautiful. Mm. Okay. Right, Wendy's decided she'd like it browning off. Well. Just finishing off in the air fryer, so I think we'll only go five minutes as well, let's do it. Yeah. Right, we'll try that, we'll get back to you. Well, there it is, there's our tea. Now, we'll eat this and we'll come back to you. Right, have a, hope you're all all right. Um, I brought you back because we've eaten that dinner now, and um, I know I said it didn't seem to taste it, but... It did really. When you got, when we sat down eating it, I said to Wendy, "This really is nice. It was it's really good. We enjoyed it." And uh, she's here messing about. Look, uh, yeah, look, I'm not going on the camera. We've been cooking, and I ain't got my makeup on. Oh, I'm covered in makeup, I am. We've even had a strangling competition. I tell you, it ain't easy. Is it? Look, look that. That's not my hand, look. It's not my hand. That's my little clicker. <laughs> anyway, the dinner. Your little what? <laughs> your little clicker. I know that's your pet name for it, but that's my little clicker. It turns the camera on and off. Well, right. hopefully. Anyway, about the dinner. Yes. That dinner, it was lovely. The rice, done in the rice cooker, it was perfect. And the right and cooking the meat the way we did, doing it the sous vide way, that cooked fine. Now, if anything, I left that too long because oh, I've been dead lazy. I don't know what to do. We're just mm. we're just relaxing, aren't we? And it was well, a, we a, it, it was a, first time today we've ever done it for ages. Well, it is, but that that we enjoyed that. It was really nice. Um, we were starving. We've had the lot. You know, I thought. <laughs> I thought it might do us a couple of times, but no way. We were so hungry. 
Um, now, what we're going to say, mm -hmm. we did it, we did the meat exactly the same, but it's a different method of cooking. But Wendy and me as well, we think it really wasn't marinated long enough. It should have been, it should have been in there longer, but we had a couple of items missing. And believe it or not, I think there must be a five spice shortage in the world. I mean, I've heard that, you know, in, in China, they're going crazy buying salt, but I think they've been, people have been going crazy oh, near buying. Oh, mad buying salt. I've seen it on the news. What for? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, oh, I ain't getting good. into all this because it's the Japanese again, isn't it? Anyway, oh. never mind. <laughs> right, okay. Bra and people have been my, uh, buying, <clears throat> hang on, I nearly said salt. <laughs> I think people have been going mad buying five spice in this country because we we, we struggled to get some. Um, anyway, we didn't get that till this morning. Something else. I know there was some else, but lemon. I can't think what it was. We've Can been not cooked, over looking for lemon. We wanted a not for this dinner. It's a different dinner, but we wanted well, one no, of them. Just you know, we wanted it the in. old plastic. Is it called Jif lemon? It used yeah. to be when I was a kid, and we couldn't get one of them. I don't, I don't know why. What's going off? I bet all the kids are using them as water pistols. That's oh. what I did, mate. And, no, if you were, if you're from the posh estate, they used to empty the lemon out like that. If you lived on a council estate like me, you used to go like that in the face with a lemon. No, I, it was washing up liquid bottles, wasn't it? it? Well, that when you when you moved up a level, you had a washing up bottle. But oh. no, anyway. What about the food? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, God. You, you, you turned that into I'm me. sorry, I thought it'd be better if it. I come on the camera, but you I think it's it. just making it worse. That meal was fine. Mm. The rice was perfect. No complaint. The meat were lovely, although we did feel it was a bit tastier the last time, but that marinated for well over a day. I think it were about, I think we were nearer two days. It was well over a day. Now, we've had to do that. And it's just, to be honest, it's marinated while it's been cooking, which is not really good enough. It all worked perfectly. Sealing it in the bag is great. And you've seen the video, we put it in. Everything worked fine. There was nothing wrong with that. And that um, cooker, I forget the figures now, but I put the meter in it and it, it only registered for a few minutes. It, what did it use? Was it about six and a half P? I, I, I'd have to get the... Don't to get it. Yeah, come yeah. on, we could be on for another hour. It's getting out of hand, isn't it? Um, the top and bottom of it is, this sous vide method in the Kasora is using no power at all. I mean, I, I wish I could say, mm, he's a cheat, he unplugs it, but why would you do that? But uh, maybe people would. I'll tell you what, mate, plug your own in and see what answers you get. Because it used electric for eight and a half minutes, and it cost 5.44 pence. I mean, look. And it was on for three hours. And we had no we, smells, did we? There, there were no, no smell. That, that's the other thing. We get no smell no. from this uh, pressure cooker. I know it's not cooking under pressure. Mm. You know, it was only running at, um, well, between 69 and 71 degrees. Um, but there were no steam, no noise. No, no it's just... I think that's half the problem. We've sort of plugged it in, let it go, and you, you forget. <laughs> yeah, we, so, don't, we don't go to restaurants, but this is what they do. Yeah, well, this is Most what the lads keep telling us, isn't it? That posh you, restaurants, yeah. this is how they cook the food, because if you have a steak, it's there ready. They've only just got mm -hmm. slap it in the pan a couple of minutes, and it's cooked. So I know it's slightly different to us, but, you know, you can... It's harder on camera, I think, once... Mm. You've put it in there, you've finished, it's easy. And if you want medium or... You just well change done, the temperature it, of the water. It, you get medium. We, we've done that. That pork was well done pork and it said 71 degrees. I think so we, that's what I did. Yeah. But it, it cooked all right, there was nothing wrong with it. It cooked no, perfectly. No. It was a length of time in the marinade, we know that. Mm. And the rice... Uh, I'd like to say the rice was better than last time, but if it was, I don't know why, but it was nice, that was lovely. Mm. We've eaten that, you know, a good bit of rice there for me and Wendy, but as I say, we're hungry, so we've eaten that. Um, 
I don't think there's anything else. I mean, the only say, thing we they? put different this time was the oh, what was it? Uh, sesame oil. Yeah, sesame Instead oil. Instead, no, I don't think that's going to make a big oil. difference, is it? No, I thought I it would I give it a think bit so. more. Yeah. Chinesey. I mean, um, you could say we could have left this meal till tomorrow, but we yeah. actually well, eat this Saturday evening. We like a bit of a treat like that, and tomorrow we've got um. Mm. Here We've got is. all the veg and the meat. There it is. Just it's give me the meat. Hang on. It might be dripping um, oh, wet. Put something down here. Oh, it might be it might wet. Might be a little bit wet. I don't know whether you. Oh, yeah, I can't tip it very far. Mm. I don't know whether you remember. Can you mm. see the price on there? Look, five ninety nine. But it was ten ninety nine. Sorry, I don't tip it too far. Cases. Mm. I think we're all right. Look, now we're having that tomorrow, mate. That is a big lump of meat. It is. I mean, uh, we showed you that. We got our as a bargain. It's been in the freezer, so we're having that too. Well, most of the veg, I mean, we've got the And we've beans. got all the veg, you see. So we said we've got to eat this dinner today. Yeah. Well, that's given us excuse to be a bit big in and eat all that meat. But it was nice. We enjoyed that. This anyway. Is, this is brilliant, weren't it? Oh, they, oh, sorry, I'm forgetting. Yeah, well, I know I've already thanked Pauline. I know. Um, but... Pauline, this was great. I mean, Pauline says she's got mm. one and she wanted us to have one. I mean, really, the only problem I've got, Pauline, when do you think she's starting the outboard engine or the lawnmower or the strimmer? She, don't pull it like that. Oh, okay, come on. It tells now, you how many it chopped it up. It's got, it tells you how to make certain things, doesn't it, in the book, and it tells you how many mm. pulls for how fine you want it. But it's, you'll just get used to it. But I made a good job that day, and it didn't take a lot of cleaning out. I thought it would. The blades are sharp, mate. We've got the guard on there. Look inside. I don't know if you can see that. But you've got to keep that, uh, keep your fingers uh, I like that more. Well, I usually make the yogurt mint mix. Yeah, when we have an India. India. I mean, that's, that's lovely. Um, that would make it so easy. Anyway, I've showed you the tin for the flour. And Wendy's cleaned that out. So when that's dried completely, we'll get the flour in there. Um, and that's about it. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>